Hello, and welcome back to another one of my ant-related documentaries. I've really been enjoying making these videos, and I definitely want to do more in future. But without further delay, let's talk about jumping jacks. Mimesia pilosula are one of the most commonly found species of bull ant found in Australia, and by far the fastest growing and moving bull ants of them all. This species is one of the smaller bull ant species, but still huge at around 2 cm in length. This species is semi-claustral, like all species under the genus of Mimesia. This also means that they have to hunt for their food in their queen's founding stages. I'm currently raising a colony of about 10 workers, and there's soon going to be 10 more any day now when the pupae hatch into adult ants. They also have a well-sized batch of larvae seen on screen here. I find this species to be the most active colony I have out of my collection. And the most productive as well. The bull ants larvae are entirely carnivorous and that's why the jumping jacks are constantly taking down any crickets I deposit for them and immediately taking it to their young. Although the species love to hunt, they far prefer a good drink of honey. My colony tends to also cover up their supply of honey in sand, and so I find myself replacing it frequently over and over again. And I'm not sure why they do this, but my Mimesia polyventris queen does the same. My theory is that they do this because they're anxious of drowning in the honey, and they put sand on the honey to absorb it. Another amazing feature of these jumping jacks is their sense of agility. Not only do they jump, but they have doubled hooks on their legs that cling to any surface with ease. Most often than not, I find one or two walk over my floor and barrier and cling onto the roof of their outworld. Watch as this worker cleans herself with only a leg or two attached to the floor and barrier. Also, if you're unsure what fluon is, it's a liquid that you apply to the top of your outworld to stop ants from crawling onto the lid. Once the fluon dries, it becomes super slippery and hard for the ants to cling onto. So it's quite impressive to see the bull ants just walk over with ease. Here's the queen of the colony, always being tended to and always tending to and caring for her brood. Look at some of these close-ups on her and the beautiful, almost fingerprint-like patterns on her head. Overall, I love this species of ant, and their interesting nature has me staring at them, mesmerised, unable to stop looking for hours. I hope you learnt something from this documentary, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.